Welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. I'm Burning Dog Face. And uh, we're here in front of the Witch Queen, Witch Queen Catacombs, even. This quest Discover Dungeon the Catacombs. I could open that, but it is uh, a number of levels ahead of me, so I'm just going to run away. Sir Robin, bravely running away. You know... I was thinking I didn't want to get all the aliens until I'd actually seen the spaceship. Maybe I want to prepare the spaceship to be friendly for me before I arrive. Maybe it won't be a dungeon by that point. Huh. Shout out to Justin Jones, who says, There seem to be so many eyes lying about in this game. Maybe I could borrow a couple? Mine don't seem to work. On second thought, random mutations caused by Lovecraftian influences are worse than blindness, so I'll pass. You know, that seems wise to me. Greetings, I am a human. I remember those nine months gestating in a womb, not an egg from a queen. I remember crawling out the canal like it was yesterday, yes. Aliens wish to meet at a broken ship? You are mistaking me for someone else. However, I've just remembered, with my bi-hemispheric brain, some colleagues I have to commune with somewhere. Farewell, fellow Terran. I like that it just fades to black for a second and then they're gone, as opposed to giving that guy any animations at all. Oops. Oh yes, this is the depressed single slug. Right, I was going to go join the League of the... Uh, was it the New League of Wizards? The New Low? Well, I also want to do a shout-out to, uh... Well, a whole handful of people, actually, uh... On the subject of, uh... That wall full of weapons back in the training room. Shout-out to a number of people who helpfully chimed in to fill in some blanks here. I learned that this sword here is the Dragon Slayer from Berserk, which I am not at all familiar with. I just know that it exists. Uh, this thing over here is the primary weapon from the game Transistor, which I have not played, but it is apparently a spiritual sequel to Bastion, which I have done a Let's Play of. And uh, apparently I misspoke when I was uh, talking about this one here. Uh, this is the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy VII, the signature weapon of protagonist Cloud Strife. However, apparently I messed up and mentioned the name of Squall Leonhart, the protagonist of Final Fantasy VIII. My mistake. Squall's signature weapon is, of course, the Gun Blade, a long sword with a revolver for a handle. Oh, but just so we're clear, no one has yet identified this sword with the eye on it. The eye would make me think it's Soul Edge from Soul Calibur, but it doesn't look, uh, meaty enough overall. <laughs> so that's fun. I like that. Filling in those blanks. Getting things done. Damptonia. Where am I actually going? That is not the right button. I'm going over there, that's right. Yes, I had made it this far. Now there was a thing in here I wanted to address directly. Oh, yes. Uh, shout out to KOR, who says, Nobody's mana recovery is incredibly OP because of the way it maintains the fraction upon changing forms. Recovering 20 with a single slap is the equivalent of 40 for the ranger. Just a thought, do you have to be at a fast travel point to go uh, to another, or can you teleport to them from anywhere? I'm not sure if it says press to travel here when you're just looking at the map. And I thought I had uh, mentioned this out loud before, but since I apparently haven't, uh, I cannot travel to the things unless I am already standing at the, uh, at the fast travel location. You uh, walk onto one of them and press A to bring up that menu, or, which, is, I guess is just, which I guess is just the map, but... Push A here, and then it lets me pick one. Which I guess is really quick, so it, really fast. So I'll just go. But yeah, if I walk over here and just go to the map, it uh, does not let me do that. A, B, X. Oh right, <laughs> B closed it out. <laughs> I 
forgot it would do that. Yes, basic functionality. Okay, back over here. Are these pumpkins supposed to have brown spots on them, or have they just been left in this field the whole time? I guess if every day is Halloween, you don't really need to celebrate. Well, that's an inconvenient place to put a gate. I guess I have to go off to this direction. Okay, yeah, these plants are not good. I remember now. I'm seeing some of these from distance. Oh! What the hell is creating shockwave? Oh shit, something is buffing those skulls! It's sending up little shockwaves around them and... Well, let's go say hi. Oh god, it's a mess of eyeballs with wings and it's clinging to a shield for some reason? Oh, it's... it's buffing their defense, isn't it? Oh my god, that is almost no damage when they're buffed like that. I gotta kill that thing. Okay, uh, slug. Maybe if I slow it, it'll buff less often. And this is already the big horned version. I don't know if there's a smaller version of that enemy. The horns are just kind of randomly sticking out of the big pile of uh, eyes, but I think they still count. Alright, that's a new and scary thing for the enemies to do. I guess it was inevitable, though, wasn't it? I wonder if I can close it. No. Can I talk to the scarecrows? No, I cannot. I remember re-meeting one last time as I say that. Oh, right. I don't have to be slow. Oh, right! I don't have to be slow! I could just slap that on with the, uh, the passive. Well, that's definitely the new League of Wizards. It's covered in, uh... Oh, those are alchemy symbols! Or, no, wait. I think those are planetary symbols. I mean, the male and female symbols are on there, but that's because they're also the symbols for the planet Mars and Venus, respectively. I mean, you thought that self-help book just picked the title out of nowhere. Now, I don't know anything about anything when it comes to these symbols, but I feel like that one on the far right represents Neptune, because it looks like a, like a fucking trident. <laughs> for no better reason than that. I'm gonna break just one of these and see if anyone notices. Oh. Quest discovered bites in the night one. It dropped garlic! One button. God damn it, me. Okay. Bites in the night one. Collect eight garlic bulbs from the farmer's garlic patch in Damptonia. What do I do with them? Nobody asked me to do this! Are you about to ask me to do this? My garlic crops ain't tasty, but they keeps the vampires away. If only my hubby ate some, them vampires chomped him good. To stop my hubby being a vampire to take my entire garlic crop. And I couldn't deprive townsfolk of their supply. I couldn't, but I reckon maybe you could do it for me? Just go to my garlic patch and give the shrubs a whack. The garlic will come popping out. Oh yeah, I can do that, sure. Can't talk to that guy. Wait. That's a painting of a skeleton dog. I am clearly not one to judge. How many of those did I need? Oh, I can just do this, can't I? No, it doesn't bring it up, fuck. I don't get to pick. No, there's no way to scroll either. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, bites in the night, can I... No, that's where it is. Fine! It said eight, though. Two... Three... Oh, God! Fuck! It's one of those skull things, isn't it? Yes, yes, from the, the cemetery. I hate those things, they look so freaky. Where did that one come from? 
I didn't even dig up any- Oh, he hit a new one, didn't he? So some of these are garlic, and some of these are monsters. Five out of eight. Six. Seven. Eight! And there's still two left, look at that. Maybe the townsfolk will go hungry after all. Hey, I got those uh, garlics you needed. I'm sorry, I think the plural is garlic. Oh, that's a lie. Well, make with the cloves, quick! Eat them up, my, eat up, my love! Howdy, Wanda. I'm here for the monthly garlic pickup. The calamity is making them neck biters mighty chompy. We sure do appreciate your invaluable crops. If only your little feet got you here faster, Jet. This fool here just tore up the whole patch. Guess you have to fight him off the old-fashioned way this month. Oh, okay. Sure. Woohoo! My hubby is saved! You've done a great thing today, Pumpkin, a great thing! He says the same thing. Or she says the same thing, anyway. Bites in the night, too. Give the garlic to the garlic farmer. Nice. Well, I saved a guy's life, and... He definitely would have uh, turned into a vampire, whereas the other people just wanted to ward off the vampires, so I feel like I'd made the right call there. Although I do still kind of feel bad about the bald baby thing. <laughs> Hello there! As much as I love the atmosphere of Damptonia, these old buildings are just too dank for me. Can I talk to the Ouija board? No. I've always dreamed of being the leader of a council, Perhaps I should start one in this town. I will be renovating this building into a council chamber. Well, good on you. Follow your dreams. Wizards are weird. Harsh Marsh. Be careful out there. It might be considered an overused trope, but our farmlands are indeed overrun by monsters. I'll just send that to some people. How in the hell do I get in there? I guess I go... Oh yeah, I just go around through the, uh, the, the marshland here. Alright, we're going to the right place then. Whoa, she looks cool. Why is it wearing her hat though? On a good day, I can run this track faster than a goose with speed boots on. Okay. Ah! Don't walk in that. Slowed me down. what I really want to know. Ah, oh, the snail is immune! So if this is a race, maybe I'll put it on the snail and give the snail the ability to run at the same speed as everyone else. Ah, fuck it. What is the button? Oh no, that's right. You just change back, huh? Ha! Ah! There's no revert to real form button. Nobody is just one of many. Huh. That's one of those uh, floaty guys who spits eyeballs and spikes at you. But the uh, the little brain guys with the two little tendrils hanging down are new. I can't tell if they're swimming or floating above the water. And I guess the shadows don't really matter, huh? Because water is funny that way. Rose. Okay, actually, it probably makes more sense to go the other way. Wow! It's another mess of eyeballs, but... Huh, I haven't seen any small versions of that one yet. I guess if you're gonna have a buffing monster, you want it to be big and tough. Oh, it's actually got hands! It's holding on to the sides of the shield. It's not just gripping it with horrible tendrils. Although it is totally doing that. In fact, the tendrils have an eye of their own on it. Oh, God! I thought it would stay in the water. Oh, good. The brains use electricity. Fucking great. 
And they take a million damage thanks to this guy. Where are you going, asshole? Just because you don't have any attacks of your own doesn't mean you don't have to face the consequences of your damn actions. Oh yeah, they're way easier to kill if they're far away from that thing. Oh no, it's not the same thing at all. At least it's more of an even fight here. No more level 11 bad guys. I see shockwaves. Let's go this way. Oh, more of them over there. Trying to remember which form it is that, uh... Oh, well, you know, I can probably check the abilities. No? I might have been thinking of something else. No, I was thinking... I think I was thinking of this, but backwards. There's nothing that gives you health for mana. Just mana for health. Okay, fine. Fortunately, I have alternatives. Aha! I remembered that time! Oh yes, and then I can just nobody my way back to full mana. And we're done. Two gourds slapped, and we're back on top. Too close to the water to do that. Curiously, I was too close to the water to turn into the uh, mermaid. Fuck! Now what you gonna do, shithead? Now you pushed me into a puddle. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh! Oh, everything hitched up for a second there. Thought it was gonna crash or something. Maybe randomly alt tab. Just had the thought. There it is. Yes, I have upgraded that. Actually, are, what, what can I even do with egg? Right? Oh, that's right. Egg bubbles up in a different way than everyone else. Shite! Wait a minute. Oh, I have to be egg to see that, don't I? Damn it! I was hoping it would have show on map that. Oh, well, I'm here. Well, that's good to know. They can be buffed and debuffed at the same time. So they had the increased uh, defense and the decreased speed. Oh, the monster fucked off. The, the, the buffing one. I guess that makes sense. Because the other one tried to flee. He's found more better friends! Oh god! These things are made of glass and they're not accompanied. Like that. Oh shit! Oh, mana fairy. I almost said mana worm. Is that even a thing? Like from some other fictional setting? Ah, uh, this is not what I meant to do! That'll work, though. I'll make this work. Holy shit! Even with the bonus uh, crits, that guy is not taking any damage. I guess their defense always was really good to begin with, huh? Would you stop following that guy around? Okay, you're dead. Calm, kept in control, everything is fine. 
Sluggy away. Oops. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Take that, Gord! Uh, what am I doing? Yes, that's right, I'm trying to go up here. I can't help but notice that this doesn't look anything like farmland. I mean, there's farms in it, but... We got wooden pathways, we got tons of water, we got sand... And this dirt doesn't look particularly fertile. Oh, hey, chest. I'll treasure it always. If I had found exactly three less dollars, I would have 11,000... Sorry, 1,111 uh, coins right now, and that would be very funny. Well, that's weird. You don't usually just find a coin lying on the floor already. Oh, there's dead guys here. My mistake, I... Yes, I guess I did make it over this far. Oh. Oh, no, this is the place. Yes, good. Where's the... There's the lever. And would you look at that? The timer has gone right in front of the new low. I guess in keeping with the finest traditions of the Elder Scrolls, I'm going to join the uh, Fighters, Thieves, and Wizards Guild. clever off the top of my head, so I'm just going to leave off here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Nobody Saves the World, when we head inside this mysterious building and see if we can join the new League of Wizards. Wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. Later!